Iowa Catholic Radio presents the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines. Father Joseph Pins, Pastor. Father John Broby, Associate Pastor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. We prepare ourselves for our celebration of this ordinary time this morning. We pause a moment to reflect upon our lives, to recognize our need for God's mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped up in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. The span of Sarah's life was 127 years. She died in Kiriathba, that is Hebron, in the land of Canaan. And Abraham performed the customary mourning rites for her. Then he left her the side of his dead one and addressed the Hittites. Although I am a resident alien among you, sell me from your holdings a piece of property for a burial ground that I may bury my dead wife. After the transaction, Abraham buried Sarah, his wife, in the cave of the field of Machpelah facing Mamre, that is Hebron, in the land of Canaan. Abraham now had reached a ripe old age and the Lord had blessed him in every way. Abraham said to the senior servant of his household, who had charge of all his possessions. Put your hand under my thigh, and I will make you swear by the Lord, the God of heaven and the God of earth, that you will not procure a wife for my son from the daughters of the Canaanites among whom I live, but that you will go to my own land and to my kindred to get a wife for my son, Isaac. The servant asked him, What if the woman is unwilling to follow me to this land? Should I then take your son back to the land from which you migrated? Never take my son back there for any reason, Abraham told him. The Lord, the God of heaven, who took me from my father's house and the land of my kin, and who confirmed by oath the promise he then made to me, I will give this land to your descendants. He will send his messenger before you, and you will obtain a wife for my son there. If the woman is unwilling to follow you, you will be released from this oath, but never take my son back there. A long time later, Isaac went to live in the region of the Negev. One day, one day toward evening, he went out in the field. And as he looked around, he noticed that camels were approaching. Rebecca too was looking about. And when she saw him, she alighted from her camel and asked the servant, who is the man out there walking through the fields toward us? That is my master, replied the servant. She then covered herself with her veil. The servant recounted to Isaac all the things he had done. Then Isaac took Rebekah into his tent. He married her, and thus she became his wife. In his love for her, Isaac found solace after the death of his mother, Sarah. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Give Give thanks thanks to the Lord, Lord, for he is good. good. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. 
for his mercy endures forever. Who can tell the mighty deeds of the Lord or proclaim all his praises? Give, Give thanks, thanks to, to the, the Lord, Lord for, for he, he is, is good. good. Blessed are they who observe what is right, who do always what is just. Remember us, O Lord, as your favor, your people. Give thanks, thanks to, to the, the Lord, Lord for, for he, he is, is good. Visit me with your saving help, that I may see the prosperity of your chosen ones. Rejoice in the joy of your people and glory with your inheritance. Give thanks, Give thanks to, the Lord, to the Lord, for he, for he is, is good. good. Blessing be upon you as you know it's the good news of the gospel, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the custom post. He said to him, follow me. And he got up and followed him. While he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus and his disciples. The Pharisees saw this and said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? He heard this and said, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of the words, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come to call the righteous, but the sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. In this Gospel, we see Matthew being called. Interesting that he's called at his place of work in his uh, tax collecting position. Sometimes I suppose we can think, well, God calls us in the silence of our prayer, maybe in the, in the quiet of the evening. But I don't know that we think too much of having God call us right where we work. And yet that's what the gospel is talking about today. He hears Jesus call and he leaves everything and follows him. Now I suspect right in the middle of your work might be kind of tough to do that. Somebody who's your boss might not appreciate you just taking off and saying, well, I'm gone now. But I think each each day, we are called in some way to be about making God the priority. Certainly that's what Matthew did. He, he heard what Jesus' call was going to be, and he went to, I suppose, figure out what this meant, what this was going to be. Hosted Jesus in his house and had, I'm sure, discussions about, well, what's this all about? And found out, of course, became one of the apostles. Today, it's, it's, a, it's a very important day for us to think about, well, how, how are we called every day to make God a priority? What's, what's going to be today's priority for God in our life? What will we do? What will we be called to do? Certainly, as we continue our prayers for those who are considering a vocation to the priesthood, to the religious life, it's a time when they hear that call, 
come follow me and make it a priority in their lives in discovering what it is that God might be doing in terms of a vocation. But again, that's one piece, but that call comes to each of us every day. How will God be a priority in our life today? What will we do, say, pray? How will that unfold? Jesus says to us, come follow me, as he did to Matthew in the gospel today. As we hear God's call to follow him, follow the Lord today, we bring our prayers and needs before the Lord. That the church may flourish in the light of God's love and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That peace and kindness may be established through the power of the Holy Spirit in every part of the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that those suffering as a result of natural or man-made disasters may be consoled and relieved of burden through the Holy Spirit of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all of us here may have the grace of knowing we are eternally loved by God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the most vulnerable, especially the unborn, Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Donald Dirks and all the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, may they may obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those prayers that are in the depths of our hearts, Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, with confidence and joy, we bring these prayers before you, the prayers of our hearts as well. Through your Son, Jesus, and the power of the Holy Spirit, answer these prayers, for you live as our God forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. (laughs) 
O oh God, who graciously accomplished the effects of, the, of, your, of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ who is Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself and by the blood of the cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, 
O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. May the divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless all of you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You've been listening to the Daily Mass from St. Francis of Assisi Catholic Church in West Des Moines on the Iowa Catholic Radio Network.